What's up everyone for this Tech Tuesday, we're gonna show you on a Nissan 350Z transmission, what happens when you break a shift fork. So here we have the transmission out of our 2003 Nissan 350Z. Currently has the HR motor in it that we swapped in and this is running the JK40 uh, series transmission in it. This is a much stronger transmission than the traditional CD01 that was in it, mainly because the synchronizers are a lot better. So that's why we swapped it in here. However, we had a fifth gear grind, which these transmissions are susceptible to. So here we have the gear set and the shift fork that broke. Uh, when he went to put it in gear, basically this shift fork uh, actually that broke down here, this little piece was laying in the bottom of it. So that goes right there. And when he went to shift, it actually popped over the synchro. So now he had no gear, it wasn't sliding the synchro hub. So what happened was, what happens in these transmissions is this is your synch the bulk ring between the synchronizer hub assembly and the gear. When this synchro hub goes over, and this is spinning at a different speed, see how they're spinning at different speeds, what it's supposed to do is as the synchro hub slides over, those teeth in there are supposed to push on that bulk ring, and this bulk ring pushes up against this, and then that equalizes the speed of this to the speed of the synchronizer. So when these transmissions grind, these bulk rings get worn out. You can see there's actually some hot spots in there from it being worn out. What it's supposed to look like is there's supposed to be a gap. So this is our 3-4 synchro hub. This is the 5-6 synchro hub. But as you can see, there's no gap in this bulk ring and the main gear. This one has a nice gap. So when you push the synchro hub in, this bulk ring actually slows that down. But if there's no gap there, that means that bulk ring is just floating on there and there's no chance for the friction between this and this to actually slow it down. So I have a brand new one here. And as you can see, this is pushed on as far as I can push it on. And there's a gap there. So what happens is on here, these little carbon, they're like a carbon fiber material in these, actually when they get pushed into it on the surface, as you can see, it's a tapered surface. Pushing on there is what slows that down and gets these speeds to match. So when your gears grind, that is actually not slowing it down. So what you're hearing is when this goes onto there, the synchro hub is actually grinding on this. So it actually wears out the teeth right here. So when that hub gets so worn out and you're racing and you go to slam it in gear, but it doesn't slow down fast enough, the shift fork will actually break, jump off the synchro hub, and then, well, then you'd have no fifth gear. And that wraps it up for that Tech Tuesday. Thanks for watching, guys, and stay tuned to more content.